Imagine a world where the word incurable no longer exists in the medical field. A world where the battle against diseases, both big and small, is not fought with invasive surgeries or debilitating treatments, but with tiny warriors invisible to the naked eye. That's right, we're stepping into the realm of the infinitesimal, where size does not matter and miracles are crafted on a molecular level. Welcome to the new frontier in healthcare, nanotechnology. This isn't about tiny robots zipping through your bloodstream, though that's an image sci-fi likes to paint. No, we're talking about the use of minuscule particles, so small that millions of them could fit on the head of a pin, to revolutionize the way we approach health and wellness. Nanotechnology in healthcare is about precision. It's about targeting the bad cells and leaving the good ones alone. Imagine cancer treatment that don't cause hair loss or nausea because they're not attacking healthy cells. Picture a world where Alzheimer's can be halted in its tracks because we can deliver medicine directly to the affected neurons. And it's not just about treating diseases. Nanotechnology promises a shift in how we diagnose conditions. No more waiting anxiously for test results. Instead, imagine a world where a simple scan can reveal the presence of disease-causing agents long before any symptoms appear. Early detection, precise treatment, and even prevention. All these could be the norm in the not-so-distant future thanks to nanotechnology. But what about aging? Could nanotechnology hold the key to the fountain of youth? There's potential there too. By understanding and manipulating our cells at a molecular level, we might be able to slow down the aging process or even reverse it. A world without age-related diseases where everyone has the chance to live a long, healthy life that's the promise of nanotechnology. This is not science fiction. This is nanotechnology, and it's happening right now. Meet John, a 45-year-old father of two. A man of strength and resilience, John was living a fairly typical life, balancing his job and family with grace and vigor. One day, things took an unexpected turn. A routine health checkup revealed a rather aggressive form of cancer. The news was like a bolt out of the blue for John and his family. In the past, such a diagnosis could have meant a grueling and uncertain journey ahead. But we're in a new age now, an age where healthcare is revolutionized by nanotechnology. This is the story of how nanotechnology stepped in and changed the course of John's life. Just as the shock of the diagnosis was beginning to sink in, John learned about a new approach to cancer treatment, one that was precise, targeted, and less invasive. This revolutionary approach was powered by nanotechnology. Tiny nanobots, nearly 1,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair, were designed to detect and destroy the cancer cells in John's body. The nanobots were programmed to search and destroy only the cancer cells, leaving the healthy cells untouched. This meant that John could avoid the side effects typically associated with cancer treatments, like hair loss and fatigue. John's treatment began, and the nanobots got to work. They were like tiny soldiers marching through his bloodstream, seeking out the enemy and neutralizing it. Over time, John's cancer cells were eradicated one by one until there were none left. The result? John's health began to improve. He started to regain his strength. His energy levels increased. He was able to spend quality time with his family. He went back to work. He went back to living his life just as he had before the diagnosis. Thanks to nanotechnology, John is now cancer-free and back to living his life. 
His story is a testament to the remarkable potential of nanotechnology in revolutionizing healthcare. It's not just about fighting diseases, but about giving people like John a new lease on life, a chance to reclaim their health and happiness. And that, my friends, is truly extraordinary. I, but nanotechnology doesn't stop at fighting cancer. It holds a promise so profound that it could forever change our understanding of life and longevity. Yes, we're talking about the battle against aging, the idea of halting or even reversing the aging process has been a part of human imagination for millennia. But today, it's not just a part of science fiction anymore. It's a potential reality we're inching closer to, thanks to the marvels of nanotechnology. Imagine tiny machines so minuscule that millions of them could fit on the head of a pin. These nanobots could be programmed to repair damage at a cellular level, replacing old, worn-out cells with fresh, youthful ones. This isn't an idea pulled from a futuristic novel, but a concept grounded in current scientific research. Teams of scientists around the world are exploring how nanotechnology could be used to combat the effects of aging. They're looking at how these microscopic machines could repair DNA damage, a leading cause of aging, or clear out the harmful proteins that accumulate in our brains and cause diseases like Alzheimer's. And while the concept might seem far-fetched, some progress has already been made. Researchers have successfully used nanotechnology to deliver drugs that can extend the lifespan of worms by a staggering 45%. If similar results could be achieved in humans, we might be looking at a significant increase in our average lifespan. But it's not just about living longer, it's about living healthier, more vibrant lives. Nanotechnology could potentially mitigate the effects of aging, keeping us active and healthy, well, into our old age. It could give us more time to spend with our loved ones, more time to explore and learn, more time to truly live. The battle against aging is a monumental one, but with the power of nanotechnology, it's a battle we might just win. Could we soon be living in a world where age is just a number? As we delve deeper into the potential of nanotechnology, this question becomes less of a whimsical musing and more of a tangible possibility. The future is fascinating indeed. So, how far are we from these incredible feats? That's the question on everyone's minds. Let's talk about the current state of nanotechnology in healthcare, the challenges we face, and the timelines for widespread application. Nanotechnology, as we know, is a field of research and innovation concerned with building things generally materials and devices, on the scale of atoms and molecules. In healthcare, it promises to revolutionize the way we diagnose, treat, and even prevent diseases, but we're still in the early stages of understanding and harnessing its full potential. Today, we see nanotechnology making strides in areas such as drug delivery, where nanoparticles are used to deliver medication directly to cancer cells, minimizing the side effects of treatment. It's also being used in diagnostics to detect diseases at a much earlier stage, improving the chances of successful treatment. However, there are challenges to overcome. One of the biggest is safety. The same properties that make nanoparticles so useful also pose potential risks. Because they're so small, they can enter cells and interact with DNA and proteins in ways that larger particles can't, raising concerns about toxicity and long-term effects on health. Another challenge is cost. Developing and testing new nanotechnology-based treatments is expensive, and while the price will likely come down as the technology matures, 
and becomes more widely used, it's unclear how affordable these treatments will be for the average person. In terms of timelines, it's difficult to say exactly when we'll see widespread application of nanotechnology in healthcare. Much depends on the pace of scientific discovery and technological innovation, as well as regulatory approval processes. But most experts agree that it's not a question of if, but when. While we are not there yet, the future of nanotechnology in healthcare looks bright. It's a field that's brimming with potential, and every day brings us one step closer to realizing its transformative promise. So, let's keep our eyes on the horizon, because the dawn of the nanotech era in healthcare is just around the corner. Um, but will everyone be able to benefit from this technological revolution? This is a question that resonates deeply when we consider the potential of nanotechnology in healthcare. As we stand on the cusp of this exciting new frontier, it's essential that we consider not just the scientific possibilities, but also the societal implications. In a world where the gap between the haves and the have-nots is constantly widening, we must be cautious. The promise of nanotechnology is enormous. Imagine a tiny device coursing through your veins to target and destroy cancer cells, or a nanocapsule delivering the perfect cocktail of nutrients to slow down the aging process. These are not just fantastical dreams, but actual possibilities that our scientists are exploring right now. However, the costs associated with developing and deploying such advanced technology could be astronomical. The research, the trials, the manufacturing, all these factors contribute to a price tag that could potentially put these life-changing treatments out of reach for many. But here's the thing. We live in an age of unprecedented technological advancement. We've seen time and time again how technologies that were once considered the exclusive domain of the wealthy have become accessible to all. Think about how the cost of personal computers, smartphones, or even genome sequencing has plummeted over the years. The same could happen with nanotechnology. As we refine the technology, streamline the processes, and scale up production, we could potentially bring down the costs. But it's not just about making it cheaper, it's about making it accessible. It's about ensuring that these incredible advancements in healthcare are not just for the privileged few, but for everyone, regardless of their economic status. Because at the end of the day, healthcare innovation isn't just about pushing the boundaries of what's scientifically possible. It's about improving lives. It's about making sure that everyone gets a fair shot at a healthy, fulfilling life. It's about ensuring that the benefits of our scientific progress are shared widely, not hoarded by a select few. Healthcare innovation shouldn't be a privilege, but a right. Let's make sure that as we step into this exciting future, we don't leave anyone behind. Now, you might, you might be wondering, what can I do? Well, you're not alone. The power of collective thought is a potent tool in the progression of scientific research. Imagine a world where every individual is aware of the potential of nanotechnology. A world where each one of us understands its incredible possibilities. This isn't a fantasy. It's a reality that we can all contribute to. Knowledge is power. And when we share that knowledge, we amplify its power exponentially. By staying informed about the latest advancements in nanotechnology, we can help accelerate the pace of progress. Imagine if each one of us took just a few minutes each day to read about the latest research to understand the potential health benefits. 
and to share this knowledge with our peers. The ripple effect of this collective awareness could be enormous, but it's not just about spreading awareness, it's also about supporting the researchers and scientists who are at the forefront of this revolution. This support can take many forms, from advocating for increased funding for research to participating in scientific studies to simply acknowledging the hard work and dedication that goes into pushing the boundaries of what's possible. You see, every great leap in human history has been driven by collective thought and action. Think about the moon landing, the eradication of smallpox, or the invention of the internet. These weren't achieved by a single person, but by a collective effort of millions of people, each contributing in their own small way. So, let's harness the power of collective thought for the advancement of nanotechnology. Let's stay informed, let's support the scientists, and let's share our knowledge with the world. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and that step starts with you. Together, we can help shape a healthier future for all. Before we end this journey, let's pause and reflect. We've traversed the exciting landscape of nanotechnology and its potential in the realm of healthcare. We've seen how it offers a new frontier, transforming our approach to medicine and health. We heard the story of John, a testament to the power of this technology in combating health issues. His tale reminds us of the revolutionary potential of nanotechnology in transforming lives, fighting even the most formidable foes like cancer. We've discussed the battle against aging, a universal phenomenon that each one of us is a part of, the tiny nanobots, working at a cellular level, hold the promise of halting or even reversing the process of aging. It may sound like science fiction, but the reality is closer than we think. We've looked into the future of nanotechnology, a future that's vibrant and full of possibilities, from fighting diseases to enhancing our physical capabilities. The scope is immense, limited only by our imagination. We've also touched upon the issues of accessibility and affordability. It's crucial that the benefits of nanotechnology reach everyone, not just the privileged few. As we advance, we must ensure that this powerful tool becomes a common good, available and affordable to all. And finally, we've explored the power of collective thought. As we stand on the brink of this new era, it's essential that we move forward together harnessing our collective wisdom and strength. In conclusion, the journey of nanotechnology is just beginning. It's a journey filled with promise and potential, a journey that could revolutionize healthcare as we know it. So, if you found this video informative and inspiring, do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comment section. Your feedback matters, as do you. Thank you.